Mm -hmm. Oh, and bread? Jeez. I feel very underprepared. Hiya! Hiya! Oh my god! Been talking about this for how long? Uh, since since pandemic began. When did when did um when did they send out the thing? When was like they well, were the pandemic they began in March, uh -huh. so they started doing them. I think in April, uh -huh. maybe. I don't, I, I and I think I wrote I think I wrote Kevin an email probably like in May of 2020 saying, "Hey, Melinda and I are going to do something," and it's January 2021. I think I said the same thing to Susie at an online baby shower and nothing happened. <laughs> Sorry. Acids and oil combat capsaicin. So I am trying some lemon squeezed into this water, mm -hmm. acids, a little shot of olive oil for when it gets really, really rough. And then I also have this avocado here as a natural fat. Maybe it'll maybe. help, maybe it'll act like a dairy yeah. fat. Probably not. We've only done one show at Slow Wrap. Oh yes, we've done one show. <laughs> Death Trap, quite fitting for this challenge. Yeah, yeah. Today. How, do you, how does the show end for both of you? How did the show end for both of you? I died on the floor. Yeah, I died on a couch. Which <gasps> might happen this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, like, how do you want to do it? I do a schmear, so I'll like put it on and I'll like wipe it and I'll eat it. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. A schmear! Every time, so. Mmm. <laughs> Are you reacting to the nugget or to the sriracha? Nugget. Okay. I cooked a little long. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is a pomegranate for me. Hmm. Because it's annoying but satisfying. Mm, that's good. That's accurate. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I'd, I'd be like a lemon. <laughs> Because I'm slightly acidic, <laughs> but, help, but helpful, <laughs> but useful. But cuts through the heat. But antiseptic. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it, there. right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. Good it's feel. sitting yeah. high. Because of this tapatio. <laughs> Clap it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mmm. That's on a breakfast burrito? Mmm. Oh no, that's hotter. That's warmer. I think you're still feeling the... Mm -mm. I felt there's, there's, there's different categories of worst because some of my best jobs have been my worst jobs. Like, <clears throat> most recently I worked at a pet emergency hospital. Mm. And like on the one hand, it was the most incredible experience. But then there are like, there were some of the worst yelling matches between um, uh, clients and like the vet, like there was, and I worked the swing shift, so I worked late into mm. the night. And so it'd be like, a yelling match at like 11.45 at night wow. about, you know, some crazy thing. And it was just, I just remember coming home just thinking like, what the hell am I doing with my life? It was terrible. Uh, I, I at one point demonstrated karaoke. What? I demonstrated karaoke at an electronics store. <laughs> 
when karaoke was first yeah. becoming a thing in the United States and people wanted machines in their homes, uh -huh. they I would go up on this big stage in the middle of a, an electronic store and I would go and demonstrate karaoke, which I mean, I love to sing and I love going to karaoke and bars and everything, but going on a stage in the middle of an electronic store when everyone is How just like... You? 22. Oh, yeah. It was before I went to PCPA, actually, but it was yeah. the, I, you know, I was like, what can I do? Well, I can sing. I guess I'll demonstrate karaoke. <laughs> but it was terrible. It was. Would you ever, were you ever heckled? Or were you oh, yes. Like... Oh, yes. <laughs> Play Freebird! Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Okay, Number one. All right. It's tasty. It's really good. I still feel like I have residual residual burn from the <laughs> sriracha, <laughs> the first one. What is the best costume you've ever <laughs> I just kicked in. <laughs> My favorite, my, my personal favorite was I wore in the second act, I had this like green jumper. And it really wasn't like the most flashy or the most, like that turtleneck was amazing. But that green jumper, mm. and it was so 70s and it had that mm. huge like Mike mm. Brady collar. Mm. <laughs> so I loved wearing it so much, yeah. it was so good. What was yours? I loved, I mean, I loved both of my costumes. Um, I just thought that they were so perfect for the period. Uh, they were so just evocative of that time. Mm -hmm. But I loved my first culotte and vest thing yeah. with the billowy yes. blouse. And I loved it so much that they gave it to me at the end of the <laughs> run. And it, I, I wish that that's something that I could pull off in real, real life. <laughs> just delightful. Mm -hmm. Delicious but not hot? Not hot. Not hot. Maggie Smith. Mmm. Freddie Mercury. Come back. Go. You're not done, Lebby. Catherine O'Hara. Oh. Okay. You know what, can I piggyback? I want to do Catherine O'Hara. Okay, we can yeah. have her at the party. Catherine O'Hara. This sounds really weird, but Brad Pitt. Why is that weird? Because I think he'd love to party. Yeah, but be cool about it. Not, awesome. not in an yeah, annoying chill. way. Not like, dude, what the hell are you doing? You're Catherine like Catherine O'Hara, Brad Pitt. Okay. They're both celebrity. You know what? Barack Obama. Oh yeah, I mean that's yes. Okay. Man of those three. Yeah. Can we have like one party with those six people? Yeah. With five people? That would be rad. Yeah, a key party. Okay, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And that sauce. Woo! <laughs> ah! Mm -hmm. And it's like so mm -hmm. mm. It kind of comes. Normally when I do a show and I'm done early and I just have the monitor, I'm like reading online, doing something, working on some costume, like totally. And more often than not, I would find myself watching the monitor for the whole end of the show because you were so good. No. Specifically in the moments where you have nothing to say, like where it was all the business about like hiding the key and oh. trying to find out, you know, what, Clifford's whatever the thing said and like all of that whole thing was so well crafted and Aww. so entertaining to watch even on a little screen backstage. The the phone call, that monster mm -hmm. phone call I had mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. and you making drinks. Mm -hmm. And my plastic ice cubes. Your plastic ice cubes. But like from that point, because that from that to after, like that whole section, 
before the kid comes in. That was like some of my most favorite, like working with you. Mm -hmm. That was, cause it was just so much fun. Well, you also have to like listen. Yeah. <laughs> It's a sleeper. It's, <clears throat> it comes back after the fact. I find this very curious because, first of all, I'm spitting, but you, we went to that Thai place and we had like food this hot and you loved it so much. Again, I'm telling you that hot sauce that is mixed into a dish is much different than a wad of sauce that you dip into. <laughs> I'm bringing it at the olive oil. Oh, really? I mean, I have to, oh God, it's so, I'm ashamed, but Dave Matthews Band, I'll have to like do some Dave Matthews Band. Is that the heat, hot sauce talking? <laughs> um, and um. What would that be the soundtrack? What age? What oh, that's my 20s. Um, Lemon Jolie, my 30s. Dave Matthews Band, my 20s. My 40s, which I'm in now, would be fit. Which is, uh, oh, that's like in the back of my throat. Ow. I'm gonna say uh, the soundtrack to Fantasmic. The Fantasmic soundtrack, which Fantasmic is an attraction at Disneyland. It is a, water and pyrotechnic and live theatrical experience at Disneyland that takes place in the rivers of America around what used to be called Tom Sawyer's Island, but it is now called Pirate's Lair. It is <sighs> this music, <sighs> you, you know. So I will she say doesn't. that. I will also say the soundtrack to The Nutcracker. For some reason, that is music that, that, not that one, but um, that is music that like speaks to me on like a, because I listened to it as a kid and it was kind of like something that I, you know, really connected to as a kid. And it's still something that I listen to, even when it's not Christmas time. There's something about that music to me that's very moving. Um, and then the third, um, oh, oh, I just don't know. I'm going to say the cat. Not rats, the musical. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna say cats. Uh, cats is the reason why I started doing theater. Really? And, yes, and it is uh, uh, something that I have a particular, my ears are ringing. Yeah. That's what tinnitus is like. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's dark. That's like dirty blue. The darkness. Bum, 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 There we go. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Really so good. you guys are both, um, as well as uh, actors on the stage, you are both also voiceover artists. Well, <laughs> not tonight. In 2001, a double loco sprouted from a homeschool garden project in Maui, <laughs> Hawaii. It's our honor and privilege to provide you with the best quality products on the market. From our Ohana to yours. Brayden, can I hear that first line again? <laughs> can I hear that? Oh my god! Can I hear that first line again? Again, but now as if you're selling um, Dove body wash. Okay. In 2001, 
Adobo Loco sprouted from a homeschool garden project in Maui, Hawaii. It's our honor and privilege to provide you with the best quality f***ing products on the market from our Ohana team. All right. All right. Michael. Oh my God. That's good. <clears throat> I can't, I don't have my glasses. <clears throat> Can you get my glasses? It's our honor and privilege to provide you with the best quality products on the market. Oh, Excellent. I would see that movie. Yeah. All right, my friends, we are down to oh, the Oh no, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> My heart rate, I feel like my, oh, no. <laughs> Combat's very close to you. <laughs> That's plenty. That's plenty, please. Just Jin -jin. <laughs> All right. So you're both um, essentially having <laughs> your last dinner right now. <laughs> uh, we're not sure if we're gonna survive. That's the awful. <laughs> 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 oh, it's got a second wave. That is nasty. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Yeah. Pizza. Just pizza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my last meal. <sighs> mac and cheese. Real mac? Nope. It's your last meal. I don't. Come on. I don't want to get <laughs> lactose intolerance <gasps> stomach. You're gonna poop yourself anyway. <laughs> ah, talking makes it bad. I'm so sorry. I went there away. There is nothing to apologize for. It is one uh, of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Huh? Oh. You know, the taste at first is awful. That was gnarly. Yeah. That people go beyond that. I know. that you would tell yourself to do differently. <laughs> I would have more ice water. <laughs> That's it. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. That's what I've been up to, too. <laughs> How's your pandemic? Can you get more wine? More wine, please. <laughs> um, that, oh, wow, we crushed that already. <laughs>